datang dan selamat kembali to another episode of Do It Live, the quick and easy way for you to win money right on your mobile phone. It's me again, Queen Tasha. I hope it's me because I miss you besties as well. So today, you know, I'm back and here to start your week right. Now, sebelum kita start, make sure pergilah pujuk your boss untuk keluar lunch awal sikit sebab nak main game ni ramai-ramai atau yang kat rumah tu uh, you know chill lah jap dari kemas rumah ke apa and panggil my member untuk main as well alright for some of you is this your first time main do it live well do not worry ini adalah peraturan dia first things first a question will pop up on your screen untuk dapat jawapan all the answers right and you will win sebanyak 4,000 ringgit alright if you don't win jangan risau boleh je ikut and get points so semua soalan kita right now are the points based on how difficult they are and with those points you can redeem rewards and remember kena tekan twice to redeem right but if korang rasa you know tak puas nak you know menang duit juga then we will be back tomorrow minggu ni we'll be talking about startups so start belajar about them okay and get your pusos ready by inviting your member member how well, it's like this, okay? Get your username from the heart here, then pass it on to everyone. You're gonna mind one game first, boo, and then your friend will get a puso. But this is only for first time, time sign ups only, alright? Only one puso per game, and you cannot use it during the SPG of the day. Alright, guys, last week we had a number of 726 winners! Wow, I miss seeing these numbers, okay? Like, I want to get higher than that so you guys can do that for your queen. I think you can, all right? So, you know another thing I miss a lot? Uh, your re- Yeah, to the mouth. Okay, <clears throat> It's okay lah. I'm going to eat it. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> alright, alright. Are you guys ready? Are you? Cause that guys was oh, okay. Yup, your queen is back. Alright, so please send us your reactions and tag us at Joan Do It and use the hashtag Joan Do It. Then hashtag Start Making Do It. This whole week is going to be all about startup companies. Yes, support lah sikit, okay? These guys have started from the bottom and now they're here, alright? So be ready for the full themed game at the end of the week. And one themed question a day. Okay, any soalan-soalan ke, shoutouts, or you've cashed out and nak belikan ai bunga ke, then feel free to reach out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Right now, we have a number of 14,138 players playing for 4,000 ringgit! <laughs> Alright guys, are you guys ready? Because I am ready. Jom, do it. This is question number one. Mana antara berikut ditambah ke sirap untuk membuat air bandung? B super cut or C juice orange? Ha, Tina? You gonna buy me juice bandung ke? Sorry, juice bandung. Why did I say juice bandung? It's sirap bandung, guys. And who doesn't love sirap bandung? I love it. And the best time to have it is probably bila like, you know, nak buka puasa. Am I right, Azra? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This ingredient is so important to achieve the bandung to the sirap. I mean, without it, it's just sirap. It's like Paris without the Eiffel Tower, right? Okay, so question number one. The correct answer is B, susu pekat. Perkataan Bandung merujuk kepada campuran susu dan air sirap atau campuran lain. Mi Bandung. There's a similar drink in India called rose milk. So sekarang ni ada, ada Milo Bandung, you know, like I'm not kidding, but yeah, besides that, you know, you can also add soda water for a fizzy taste or add chinchow for texture. All right, moving on to the next question. This is question number two. Agama mana yang mempunyai paus sebagai kerana? Is it A, Hinduism, B, Buddhism, or C, Catholicism? <laughs> ah, who 
doesn't know the Pope, right? The, the Pope comes from a Latin word, Papa, or from the Greek word, Papas, which means father, right? The broad job description for the role of Pope is the head of the church and the Bishop of Rome, all right? So the Pope is also the head of the city state, Vatican. City. What this means on a daily basis is that the Pope um, has duties. Correct answer for question number two is C. Catholic. Faust, <laughs> they know I'm going on. Faust Karan digelar Pope Francis. Francis dan berumur 82 tahun. He has a master's degree in chemistry and used to teach in high school. Beliau boleh bertutur dalam 8 bahasa. Wow, what a busy and talented man. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? I thought all he does was wave like and go to like cool countries, but I guess. All right, guys, moving on to the next question. This is question number three. Batu permata manakah yang hanya mengandungi satu elemen? Is it A. Berlian, B. Delima, atau C. Batu Nilam? A gemstone, guys, is a precious or semi-precious stone, especially one cut, polished, and mostly used in a piece of jewellery. So if you don't know what this is worth, then... <laughs> Boy, I'm sorry, but you need to step up your game, okay? You gotta know this. And what is it? Well, it is A, diamonds. Most gemstones actually contain more than one element. Tapi, berlian ni uh, hanya diperbuat daripada carbon. So, if you guys have seen, J-Lo just got engaged yesterday and she got one hell of a diamond ring, okay? And that's why, boys, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Take note, all right? Moving on to the next question. This is question number four. Siapakah Asad Mota? Oh, is he A, a singer? Is he B, a director? Or is he C, an actor? Oh my god. Guys, did somebody just say Asad? Oh my god, I thought I heard. I'm so excited. I thought I heard Ashad, you know, like DJ Khalid San. But no, no, no. This is not Ashad. This is Asad. It's kind of like the new hype right now. He's like really hype, right? He be, I guess he be cute and all, whatever thing, I guess, if that's your taste. But anyway, guys, do you know who he is? Well, if you don't, I'ma tell you, cause he is a, a singer, all right? This Lango born songster may be young, but he is definitely getting attention. That's what you want. Asad bakal berkerjasama dengan kumpulan British Spike. Wow, living the dream at such a young age. He's only like, how old is he? Oh, he's 17. Oh. Young. All right, guys, moving on to the next question. This is question number five. Apakah negara terbesar di hemisfera barat? Is it A, Canada, B, United States, or C, Mexico? This country, but pretty huge, guys, is definitely larger than China. And this place is like well known for its beautiful lakes and is widely known for its Hockey, maple syrup, and brutally cold winters. Also known for my baby Shawn Mendes, my baby Drake, and also my baby Justin Bieber. Shout out to you, Justin, if you're playing today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just had to put it out there, okay? Okay, so question number five, guys. The correct answer is A, Canada, with a population density of four people per square kilometer. In theory, each of Canada's 35 million, 51 acres for themselves. So, I guess I'm gonna have to move to Canada then. All right, guys, number five is... A roadblock question. But don't lose, because we're moving on to the next question, and this is question. Datang ke Malaysia untuk 22 Amerika. Is it A, NSYNC, B, Westlife, or C, Backstreet Boys? Okay, 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 now, huh? Tell me everyone is excited for this boy band to come, okay? This boy band was formed in 1998, guys. 
1998, lama tu, okay? And disbanded in 2012. But in 2018, they reunited, and then my universe was aligned. And I can give you guys a hint. Okay, this is the hint. <clears throat> Uptown girl, she been living in her uptown world. Hey, I bet she never had a back street guy. Huh? That's the that's the hint, okay? And if you guys don't already know, it is of course. B West Live. The band revealed this in January during their show in Singapore. So mereka merancang untuk mengadakan konsert di Kuala Lumpur dalam empat ke lima bulan yang akan datang. So West Live, honeys, I'm gonna see you there, okay? All right, moving on to the next question, guys. This is question number seven. Antara berikut yang manakah paling barat? Is it A Kuala Pila, B Pekan, or C? Guys, guys, I hope you didn't need to Google this or or Waze it, okay? I don't want to hear you guys saying you typed out on Waze your destination is tempat paling barat, okay? Because you guys won't get the answer, and I know you guys know Malaysia very well, right? Malaysia truly Asia, okay? So question number seven, guys, the correct answer is C, Sepang. Sepang is home to a few archi architectural streets. Correct, right? Architectural, huh? Correct lah. Architectural structures of importance, seperti KLIA dan Sepang International Circuit. So it is also completely surrounds Putrajaya, our very own Silicon Valley. Cyberjaya is located in Sepang, and I think I think they also have like a go thing. I mean, go thing. Ah, I think they also have go karting there, right? Yeah. Okay. So, chum. If anyone wants to go go kart with me, like just holla. You know what I says. All right, guys. Moving on to the next question, boys and girls. This is soalan nombor lapan. Berapa banyak tunggangan dibuat dengan Grab sehari menurut report 2018 dari Grab? Adakah ia A satu juta, B empat juta atau C tujuh juta? Ha, huh. guys, dah sampai to our theme question of the week, guys. Okay, first things first, siapa yang tak tahu Grab? All right, they're like our savior when we have no ride, like when we're late to work, you know, our car broke down, shout out to you, Sean, or when your boy ditches you when he said he'll pick you up. Boys, please stress it, okay? We've all been in there, all right? So, the answer to question number eight is... B, 4 million. Grab caters to over 600 million people in Southeast Asia, including Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, and Vietnam. App ni mendapat purata 46 booking setiap saat, melebihi 100 juta booking setiap bulan. And we're most thankful for, of course, my favorite, Grab food. Otherwise, We'd starve in the office, so shout out to you guys, Grab and Grab Food. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next question. This is question number nine. Negara mana antara berikut tidak mempunyai garis pantai? Is it A, Tajikistan? Is it B, Pakistan? Or is it C, AKA? A okay, this, that what it means, the question is, is a coastline, which basically means negara ni tak ada pantai. So can you guys imagine not like how Malaysia would be if tak ada pantai. It would be very very different. Okay, so no more banana boats. You know, as far as your favorite pantai. So don't worry. Alright, so question number nine guys. The correct answer is A. Tajikistan. Alright. I'm going to talk about it, but I'm gonna just need to see it. Okay. <laughs> Tajikistan is a landlocked country, which means that it doesn't touch the sea. Its capital, Dushanbe, is also the largest city in the country. Dushanbe bermaksud Isnin dalam bahasa Tajik. Ia dinamakan begitu kerana kampung asalnya ada pasar yang popular pada hari Isnin. Alright guys, looks like question number nine is... A roadblock question. Well, 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 well. We have come down to the next question. Well, um, no, not the last question, I'm sorry. This is question number 10. Sandwich dinamakan sempena siapa? Is it A, a witch, B, a British nobleman, or C, a scientist? Alright. Love it or hate it, 
everyone dalam dunia ni pernah makan sandwich. Betul tak? Betul. Thank you, murid-murid. Unless you're allergic to bread lah, which I for one, ha- I personally have a friend who's allergic to bread, bread, and it's it's really sad, okay? But at least tak pernah dengar pasal, but pernah dengar pasal sandwich lah. But we have never wanted to like know nama-nama dia datang dari mana until today. So where did it come from? Well, it came from a British nobleman. The answer for question number ten is B. The fourth Earl of Sandwich, John Montagu, enjoyed eating beef served between two slices of bread while playing card games. So, ini supaya tangannya tiada like, you know, grease like all the minyak-minyak and like, you know, tak kotorkan dekat lah. So, pff, sandwich happened. So, next kita akan tanya pasal who invented the hot dog. Alright guys, we have come down to the most important question of the day. This is the SPG of the day. Okay, guys, SPG of the day. This is question number 11. Apakah maksud singkatan inisiatif DNA 23? Is it A, Digital News Asia, or B, Digital Native Agenda, or C, Digital Nation Action? Okay, well, I hope you guys have been reading the news lately because this is our theme this week. We're not asking you about your DNA, so no worries. This is a whole nother thing, okay? Because it would be impossible for you to go and get your DNA test right now and answer this, okay? So guys, for the SPG of the day, the correct answer is B, Digital Native Agenda. This initiative was launched by PKR, President Anwar Ibrahim, just last week, supported by Communications and Multimedia Minister Gobin Singh Dio. Alright, DNA 23 mahu menjadikan agenda digital sebahagian daripada DNA rakyat dari semua. So, alrighty, look at their DNAs, right? Because we have a total of 378 winners! <laughs> This is my time to play badminton. Alright guys! It's still badminton! Alright guys! Papatin, Scarnerty, Linda, Mav, Ninomo, oh, Scary Momo. Um, Thumbcat, Cherry Licious, Honey Palmelo, Fun Hoi, Excelsior, Cool, Fei Pei, Bozo, Ashera, Nurelina, Isa, and Jen Lee. Congratulations! One more time, you each win your share of 4,000 ringgit! <laughs> Alright, guys, much ambiasa. Check your account after 30 minutes or one hour to see your money and points, maso. And let us know if you have any questions, ada masalah. You know, a lot of shout outs, or you want to make some spicy fried chicken, then reach out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't worry, kala kala, we will be back tomorrow. So make sure you guys read about this whole DNA 20 thing, the 20, 20, DNA 23 thing, okay? Okay, well, guys, I'm Tasha Elia, and it has been real nice seeing Koram besties, okay? So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.